Hey everyone, today is harvest. Well, we were working in the greenhouse today and a ton of dandelions were in there. So I decided that I'm going to pick these. These are going to be for the dandelion uh, class coming up in May. These are, I call these the little um, buttons, but they're actually just the flowers that are uh, forming, getting ready to burst up and turn into these little flowers into the tops so what I make with these is they're called like capers when we're done with them but they're dandelion capers just pickle them I use a um, a daily bean recipe which is if I can remember it off the top of my head it is two and a half cups of vinegar two and a half cups of water to one quarter cup of salt and I, I use the sea salt and then you use your brine and then you can use whatever herbs spices that you like to use into your make your brine and then you just pickle them the same way you same way you would your dandelion uh, your um, dilly beans so there was quite a few of these so we'll have these to taste on the dandelion class plus I did some pickled roots pickled dandelion roots. I'm going to make a dandelion syrup with the tops for now. These guys will be getting ready to cook them up. And then there was all of these and these. <laughs> the roots were really nice. Um, they're quite big for one year dandelion. Of course it was all, all winter they were in the greenhouse and I could have went in and dug them up if I was hungry, but I'm not starving. <laughs> but they are a staple food, a great staple food. And I did a dandelion. I did one on uh, last year in the fall already on a um, dandelion roots, tincturing them. And I did find a couple of mullen. These are quite small, but I'll, I'll, I'll dry this up and use this later on. But I didn't want to till it in. I didn't feel right. There was two of them that I found. There's another one in there two mullen. No, oh, here's the other mullen. Here. It's stuck underneath. There's a lot of dandelions here. This is another mullen that I found and I just didn't want to leave it in there but it's quite big. Yeah, this was in the greenhouse today. My big greenhouse today. I'll post some pictures. But I just wanted to show you some of these roots that we dug up today in the house. The, uh, green, the big greenhouse, the 196 footer. Um, so I'm going to be washing these this evening. I'll chop these up and put them on cookie sheets to dry them for the class. We will have um, dandelion root coffee. Well, it's not really coffee. There's inulin in here like I've spoken about before. You'll see that wakey, uh, uh, milky uh, substance coming out of the plant, which is uh, inulin. It just gives you like the an inulin rush type of energy but not coffee not like a caffeine rush and then you know crashes you later so that's it I don't know how many pounds are here of dandelion but of course it's mostly water weight too once it's dried I'll, I'll weigh out the roots the leaves um, most likely the leaves I will stir fry those up and have them later or steam them <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of you know as well as I do that even spinach when you chop it up and a big big pot of it's gonna end up it's like a little bowl. So it probably won't make much by the time I'm finished with it. But um the roots is what I was after. <laughs> the tops just are extra. Okay, so I just want to do a short little video and show you what we picked today in the greenhouse. We already have dandelions and we're it's April third, fourth, it's Easter, Easter Day. I don't know my days. I believe it's the fourth. And that's it. I'll see you guys soon. We'll be doing the dandelion class in May, May 18th. If somebody or has friends and they want to come with a friend, it's by donation. There's no fee. Just the donation goes towards the materials and paper um, recipes and, you know, all that stuff. All right. See you all soon. Peace.